Hey everybody! The present video is brought to you by Mr. Unknown, and this is the thing that he has to say. I'm a moderately aged Korean person living in the US, and your videos have set my perceptions about ladies. I feel that you're saving a ton of men's lives with your work. Today I wanted to share that Korean ladies are the absolute most slippery cerebral and controlling ladies in the whole world. I was a mega man in my whole life, and back in secondary school, I dated a young lady who was around two levels over my head. As his self-declared flower child, she was lovely, skilled, and exceptionally enchanting. I was so whipped every step of the way that on the night we began dating, I returned home after the primary kiss and recorded a selfie video about how I'm in paradise and how I can't believe that I kissed a heavenly messenger. I showed her the video the next day. I can envision the fulfillment and salivation that she felt realizing that my heart was on a platter to her to gobble up. For the following two years, she straightforwardly was a tease and stroked different folks directly before me, said a final farewell to me since her affections for her ex had returned over winter break, and conceded to unintentionally hooking up to one more guy at a party. Indeed, even after this, it was all she went to say a final farewell to me since I was excessively whipped. Composing this pushes down me and I'm embarrassed about how effectively I got stomped all over by ladies yet subsequent to watching your videos. I felt a sense of urgency to impart this to you along with the Maytown local area to act as a wake-up call of exactly the way in which strong and blinding the female organ is. Obviously, every one of my exes wound up cheating on me, but this is what's fascinating. I've dated an Indian, a couple of Caucasians, as well as a couple of Korean young ladies and the Korean ladies, are the ones in particular that never really conceded that they cheated. My latest relationship was with a Korean lady and I felt that I'd really established in a wall. She was adorable, held sensible, ridiculous, apparently non-materialistic, and took care of my self-image with praises like you're so masculine and not like the wide range of various guys. However, after about a year of dating her, she started to uncover her genuine nature each layer in turn. She did things like never answering the telephone and calling me back a couple of moments later, getting squandered at required organization works that endured until late at night, three times each week and coy Facebook messages from her male colleagues on her page began to spring up. In any case, similar to a moth encompassed by a cobweb, I actually couldn't see reality. The main way I awakened from this man in a trance, like state was subsequent to knowing from a companion that she was having an unsanctioned romance with her colleagues, as well as a couple of companions of mine from school. By the day's end, I fought myself with a dream in my mind. Sure she was underhanded and manipulative, yet it was the same amount of how I didn't believe my dream should end since we were blemished and I suspect that even the most insightful minkows have vulnerable sides and can succumb to the quietest female predators who concentrate on their prey for a long time and sting them into accommodation when they find that specific vulnerable side. What's more, the cookie shaft beam is such an extent that the fellow would in any case think he has command over it to him. That is presumably why young ladies keep around gay folks or friend zone manginas around to acquire understanding about the male mind. I think guys ought to do exactly the same thing by keeping an appalling young lady around to essentially smell out female slash. So she would need to be truly monstrous and totally ugly for everything to fall into place. In any case, my inquiry for you today is this. What are the most dangerous red flags that you've seen while associating with ladies? I figure it would be valuable for anybody in the MGTOW community that actually dates to really peruse this rundown before they add out on their dates. Well, Mr. Unknown, gratitude for breaking men's picture out there about Asian ladies. The way that your ex didn't own up to deceiving shows me once more that Asian ladies are more astute and greater at covering their tracks than one or the other Caucasian as well as Indian ladies. However, concerning warnings, the first is clearly the insane banner. There's a justification for why there's a Reddit bunch called Don't Put Your Head in Insane. In the event that a lady begins acting insane after you begin dating her, don't have intercourse with her. Assuming it's the last thing you do, it will simply wreck you sincerely in light of the fact that you can't actually become hopelessly enamored with somebody that deals with you like a torpid. That carries me to the subsequent banner. About a little while into dating or a relationship, the lady will for the most part begin to deal with you like canine poo in light of the fact that she realizes that you love her. How amusing is that? She must be pleasant to you until you fall head over heels for her yet, when she understands that you're snared like an award bass, she then, at that point, resorts to mistreating you. At times it takes more time than a couple of months. 
I recollect on our one-year commemoration, I was told every one of the awful things that I was doing and that I should change about myself. You know the entire seek therapy issue? Get me a superior gifts and carry a wine to my mom's home on Friday. For another sweetheart, it nearly took her over two years before she began guiding me, and in light of the fact that I just had two significant relationships in 15 years as a grown-up, I didn't feel that this kind of conduct was lady explicit. I thought it was well-defined for the singular lady that I was dating. From that point forward, I've dated four ladies and I see similar example and warnings. Another warning that I've seen is that ladies in their 30s are frequently so frantic to get pregnant, and they're willing to engage in bedroom relations as quickly as time permits to get thumped up with the person. They're searching for good qualities as they enter the eighth inning in their reproductive years. They're normally unreasonable and don't have any desire to utilize condoms, and all they appear to think often about is getting pregnant. They couldn't care less about sexually transmitted diseases. Condoms are the pill. That to me is a warning that you're simply a sperm contributor, and you really want to fundamentally get the damnation out of there as fast as could be expected. Another immense warning is a lady in her late 20s or 30s with debt or scarcely any cash saved. On the off chance that she doesn't have a monetary arrangement, then, at that point, you're the monetary bailout plan for her. Assuming that implies wedding you or fundamentally getting pregnant to get kid backing and divorce settlement, then so be it. They're frantic. So remember that financially troubled women in their late 20s and 30s know their only chance at having a good lifestyle in the future and living the good life is to find a man to provide it for them. On the off chance that they haven't become fruitful all alone by their right on time to mid-30s, then, at that point, they need a man for cash. Try not to be that man, however on the off chance that they have well-off guardians and a wealthy legacy. I frequently observe that they're essentially able to mistreat you without skipping a beat when they meet you since they don't you to basically fall in love with them. In the event that she slights you immediately, regardless of how rich she is or her parents are, take off as fast as could really be expected. Other clear warnings are single parents. Ladies that can't keep a relationship longer than a half year or ladies that have been hitched on numerous occasions. In the event that they have horrendous confidence, that also is a warning sense, supposing that their regard at any point expands, they could really figure they can show improvement over you, and you'll be history to them. The women that hide in plain sight usually wear black and have very high IQs. I think it's really smart women that try and draw the least amount of attention to themselves by raising the red flags. I couldn't want anything more than to hear what every other person thinks as much. Kindly don't be modest and share in the comments segment underneath. Gratitude for taking your everyday portion of red pills and recollect a red pill daily fends the divorce legal counselors off. Partake in the remainder of your day and good wishes.